Hello, hello, boys. Today, fourth week of the minimum spending series, and uh, yeah, today gonna be a little live commentary as somehow I have lost all my clips because I don't know what is wrong with my phone. And when I was trying to transfer the, the data over to my computer to edit the video, the video just got corrupted. So I will talk a little bit about the what I did during my four, fourth week. So by the way, welcome everyone to the $50 budget series where I created a fresh account and you know, let you guys see what, how I progressed in this game during the early game and today is week 4 and I think we're around 3 days into week 5 so you know, there's gonna be some stuff that aren't supposed to be in here but what can I do, you know, the file has gotten corrupted so let's get into it. So first off that I want to talk about is my Star Force. So on the third week of the series, I did tell you guys that I was trying to push for SF-144. And at the end of the third week, I did get to Star Force 150. And I never covered during the, the, third, week the third week that the Star Force 150 is nice because you get extra combat power for the Legion. So I think I went from around like 4M to around 7M. And this slowly adds up, you know, I'll probably make more alts to fill up the Legion slot as Legion coins, I don't have enough of them. And right now I can't level up my Legion as I don't have enough Legion coins. So in this week, I did sell the last pair of S label shoes. Uh, I sold it for around 400 M if you look here. 425 M, pretty nice, pretty nice. And I did spend, use a little bit of that Mesos to buy the emblem shoulder here. It's a unique emblem with boss attack. Although the the option is not best in slot, it is still nice to. It is still not bad as the emblem is boss attack. And the shoulder, I don't really see how important it is to get the best in slot option as crit attack. If you were to actually get your crit rate up high enough, then you should you shouldn't have a problem. And yeah, I mean, the, the, I think I bought it for around, I think I showed you guys on TS here, it was around 300M, not 444M, so spent a little bit more than what I sold the S-Label for, but you know, I feel like the price is not bad, right, for a good emblem on an item, I feel like this is not bad. I would say the lowest it would go for is around 350M, but I haven't seen one in a while and I wanted to buy something, so... Yeah, I went with that. And on the second week, I mean, on the third week, I also did, I think the first, second, and third week, I did the, the what is it, what is this called? Night Sky Lantern event. And I did spend a lot of the coins on the items. And yeah, as I told you, the file got corrupted, so I can't really show you guys what, uh, like during, like what the attempts looks like. But, I did buy the emblem weapon 8% and the armor emblem 8% and both of them failed. Pretty sad, but you know, minimum spending life, you gotta move on. And I did also spend uh, a lot of the points on hyperstats discount and I did get my final damage up a lot and a bunch of Star Force scroll here. I think none of the Star Force scroll landed, which was, which was pretty unlucky, but you know, it is what it is. I don't think anything from this event landed. The only thing that I got from this event is probably the hyper stats because it's guaranteed and the inventory slots I got here. Which, you know, quality of life, right? With 150 inventory slots, it gets pretty hard to manage your inventory. So this does help new newer players a lot and glad that they put it inside the event shop. Would be more happy if they put the character expansion slot so we have extra characters in the event shop, but you know, maybe in my dreams, yeah? And yeah, uh, by the end of the fourth week, I did get to Star Force 150, like I said. Uh, the shoulder that I bought, I was planning to not wear it until I get, you know, I get it to unique potential. So I'm cutting it over to my alts. So if you look here, all my alts are inside my guild and Yep, I'm doing check-in on all my alts here, 
and I was able to get one red cube every day so I'm planning to rotate this shoulder around until I get unique potential on that shoulder and you know slowly work on it right it's a slow progress and in the meantime I'm just gonna use this SF118 uh, uh, shoulder probably will fuse it up to a legendary whenever the whenever the emblem shoulder is ready The other thing I did for this week on the fourth week is also spend my Moonlight Fragment points. Uh, couldn't show you guys again as you know, file corrupted, but I did buy some Hyperstats discount tickets as this is very cheap for only 180 Moonlight. I'm able to get 100 MSOs discount so this is very nice especially those who are working on their Hyperstats. Very cheap option like you know, like an if you have little points, this would be like one of the best to buy. I think I bought, only bought this and I only bought the... Uh, yep, here. Uh, legendary... Uh, it's the Legendary Star Force scroll for the accessories. So here you look. I still have it. I still haven't used it as I am waiting for a, a unique potential uh, accessory. So you look here. Most of my accessories... I do have a lot of accessories already, but the potentials are still epic and rare and I'm, you know, I'm not in a hurry, so I'm just gonna wait until I get a, you know, a horn tail or a, like a horn tail unique ring or a Cygnus, you know, unique ring and use it on that as I don't have to work on the potentials after and I can focus mainly on the main gear I have. Here I also did get a unique potential on my shoes. Uh, at first I was gonna slowly cube it but then you know the game does give you a lot of free rewards as I say and I think one of the growth event here I think at level 180 you're able to get the 30% unique potential scroll and this landed for me which is pretty lucky pretty lucky after failing all my attempts on the on the event shop you know this was at least one thing landed and yeah, gotta appreciate it. It's, you know, the slow, the improvements are very slow. Right now we are currently in the middle of the fourth week. No, wait, no. In the middle of the fifth week, as I told you, the, the file was corrupted and yeah, I was trying to, you know, get it back, but did not work. And the, now that it's in the middle of the fifth week, I did get my hyper stats up to level 11 for the final damage. This is debatable for a lot of people. Some people might say that, you know, getting EXP might be better. Getting Star Force might even be better. As, you know, a new like a newer player is very hard to get Star Force. But for now, I feel like it's not that bad. I mean, final damage, you clear monsters faster. You know, it's nice to have. And you could flex to the EXP route after as, you know, after I max out final damage, I could max out EXP and party EXP. And then when I want to actually do DPS, I can expand the page and try to get a DPS page for the hyper stats. But for now, I feel like EXP is king, especially for newer players. As you know, you gotta catch up, you know? And yeah, I think it, the last thing I did this fourth week was that I did get a CRA carry from my guild. My guild has an extra slot that I could take. So I have decided to, you know, get carried on this account. Although, if you're a newer player, you might not be able to find this, uh, like, you know, a carry run. I I did not want to waste extra resources as, you know, I'm only topping up $50 a, a month and, you know, I want to keep the series entertaining. So I did get carried and I'll probably wait until I get the top and bottom from this in order to, you know, in order to get the top and bottom for my Dawn Warrior. But, you know, if you're actually a new player, you might have to save up Mesos to buy your own top and bottom. And they do cost around 650M each. I mean, I'd rather not spend that. And as my guild has an extra slot anyway, I'm just going to take it. But, you know, do keep in mind if you're a newer player and you can't find a team, you've, you've got to have to, you know, fork out 650M for the top and bottom. It's 650M each. So, you know, you got to fork out around 1.2 no 1.3 B but you know as I want to keep the the series entertaining uh, I did 
get carried and I'm gonna wait until I get the top and bottom here. We'll, we'll see though. I did get extra crystals already as I told you this. The, I'm in the middle of the fifth week so I'm recording this after the fourth week. And I already got to, I've already used using the $50 budget on crystals here. And in like you know in the future maybe next week I was a I'm able to make like 2B or something and you know I might want to rush the top and bottom and then whenever this becomes 12 I can cut it over to an alt and use that to farm also. That is also an option. So we'll see in the future how much mesos I make using these crystals. But I'm thinking I'll probably use it to expand my legion as I told you. I don't have enough coins to level up my legion. And yeah, I think that is it for the fourth week. Uh, sorry that it has to be a live commentary like this. I wanted to show you guys my attempts per week. But, you know, the phone did not want to cooperate. And the file corrupted on the fourth week recording. Hope it doesn't happen for the fifth week. As I'm now in the middle of the fifth week. So, I'm gonna be losing some of that, you know, screen recording for the fifth week. But, I'll come up with something. And yeah. I'll see you all on the next week of the minimum spending series and yeah, hope to see you all next time. Bye bye guys.